Welcome to another edition of Wine Guard TV. Ben Edwards is my name. This is Dan Sims. Today we are going to be discussing something that's a bit topical, a little bit interesting. Just recently the Langton's number five classification was released, wasn't yes, it? Yes, number five. Number it's five. It's a big one. Now obviously this is a classification I, sp I suppose based on the auction uh, uh, well, prices. Yeah. Langton's is an auction house. Yes. That's what they do. Since 1990 what they've done is they've released a chart of outstanding, excellent, distinguished producers. And so what we thought we would do, given that there's been a little bit of movement at the yeah, top yes. of the tree, which is great to see because, you know, it can't, be, it can't remain static. We celebrate a little bit of that. But we'd also talk about the context of why and also some of the things that we like and maybe some of the things we're not that keen about. So we'll go through the wines and see. But ultimately, it really is about what happens at auctions, what demands the right prices, what um, we're seeing repeatedly get supported in the yep. marketplace. And then there's the other stuff, which we want to talk about today, which is, does it necessarily mean that it's going to be a good drink? Well, we can start with this, which is the Grosset Polish Hill, and this, made it up this made a jump didn't it made it, a jump it made a jump and and rightfully so i mean it's it's a reward this is the grosset polish hill it's, it's a reward for an outstanding vineyard absolutely and and jeffrey grosset has been at the forefront of a single vineyard riesling from the clear valley and it's probably in terms of popularity the most highly sought after wine it's still not particularly expensive but it is incredibly age worthy I mean, and it's an iconic style. It's an iconic style, and at this particular vintage, I mean, it's one of my favourite new releases, I should say, of the uh, of the Grosser Polish Hill because of its approachability. It's got incredible, it's a generosity of fruit, but then lots and lots of line and length. Classic Riesling, well, classic Claire, classic Claire Riesling. Yeah, twenty ten has that generosity yeah. of fruit. Um, I like that though. But it's still always, and this is the thing about these uh, distinguished uh, in, and exceptional wines, and this is an exceptional wine as co according to Langton's number five, is that um, they speak of their terroir, they speak yep. of their place. So if you took 10 vintages of Grosser Polish Hill, you would see the common thread right the way through. Absolutely. Both from the winemaker and of course also from the vineyard that the wines come from. And especially the age-worthiness of these particular wines, they, they <laughs> last for a long time, especially under screw cap, yeah. which is wonderful. Now we've seen Cherez Viognier come a long way in Australia in terms of style, and I'm sure you've seen them out there. The man that really started it, that put it on the map, Tim Kirk at Clonakilla. I mean, I absolutely adore this wine. This mm. is one of my all-time favourite Australian Cherez. In fact, I mean, I'd almost got to say these two Shiraz right here are without without doubt my, with two of I think my favourite. I can't yeah, help yeah. jump the gun because it's too enthusiastic. It's hard to sort of put these two together, but I mean this particular one is absolutely super from start to finish. Pick it up; it's just these layers upon layers of complexity. And this again went up in the Lexus classification and what this yeah, way. and got into the exceptional. Now this uh, was given ninety-seven points by uh, James Halliday. Well, actually by me and James Halliday, Australian wine companion, and rightly so. An absolutely beautiful wine. The interesting thing was that. On the back of the Langton's classification, on the back of the exceptional qualification coming through, in the Twitterverse, some questions were raised. And one of the questions being, you know, what will, what's one of the wines over the last 10 years you could not live without in your cellar? And for me, my first answer was Clonacella Chirez So it is worth keeping, it is worth drinking. And that's my idea of a great wine. Great wine is great from the day it is bottled. And it doesn't take time to become great. And another great. little anecdote, we put this in front of some uh, American sommeliers uh, early this year and they were absolutely blown away in terms of the quality Ooh. level and style of what just completely blew their perception of what typical Australian Shiraz is. That's right. Absolute benchmark. Now we move on to a wine that is not languishing, but it's sitting in the bottom tier, which is the fourth tier, the distinguished tier. Just to be in the classification is great. In our not so humble opinions, we believe that this wine, based on its quality and its ability to produce outstanding, exceptional, single vineyard wines, Mount Langy is right up there in terms of quality. It's not on the classification, and still at its relatively low price of around $85 retail, 45 year old vines, Beautiful site in um, the Grampians. Wonderful Great winemaker, Dan guy. Buckle. What do you think of the wine, Dan? I mean, oh, come on. It's really, it as I said, I'm worth jumping the gun. These two wines side by side are, for me, the pinnacle of what, you know, great, you know, Australian Shiraz is at the moment. Um, this recently also got to uh, Nick Stock's uh, Good Wine Guide. It was, um, the, Shiraz it was the, the Shiraz of the year. And uh, XL at all, basically, the 07 and 08 sold out basically overnight. 
Hence, you know, these fabulous, you know, such a great quality of wine. It's lip smacking. It's, it's delicious. Lip it's beautiful and I love this. And so often we, you know, we compare these. It's difficult to compare because yeah. I love them for you different reasons and the same reasons, reasons yeah. all at the same time, if that makes This is the sense. feminine style and this is the masculine yeah. style. And I know that's a bit old fashioned, but you know, sometimes it just works because you know, it's more sort of lazy and this yeah. is more brawny, but in a really delicious way. We're gonna move on to the last one. Kate Mantell, obviously been around for a very long time, started up by David Honan, part of the Mould Hennessy Empire. 97 points this was given by Nick Stock in his recent um, wine guide. 07 vintage, a great vintage from Mount River. Dan, what do you think of the wine? It's again, it's got that wonderful structure, cabernet, leafiness, character, again, togetherness, fineness and balance. Good core of fruit, a very, very good example of cabernet from Marga River. It is. It's it's a, you know, it's classic Marga River classic Cabernet. Classic Marga River Cabernet. This is at the third tier of it. So yep. it actually goes uh, excellent, <laughs> sorry, outstanding, uh, excellent, and then it goes into distinguished. So this is at the excellent tier. Not bad wines, huh? Very good wine. If you need to know more about Langtons, you can find out more about it at langtons.com.au. Yep. They've also got an app you can download for Definitely. those of you with iPhones, which is most of us these days. <laughs> Learn more about it, discover the secrets of the Langtons classification and enjoy the journey because I know that just even sitting here today, we have. Absolutely, and there's a heck of a lot of good wines within every single one of those categories. So get into so it and get into Australian wine. We like it. We do. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.